So we're at this stage now where we've filled up the, we've added the progress values, we've put notes and pictures, we've updated it and on the go, and when we've got a signal, we're going to uh, submit it back to the cloud. And I've done that already with the um, previous project, and now I'm going to do it with this particular project. So, um, so we uh, click on the submit button, and it's going to tell us that it's it's gone. Uh, and so there's nothing left on my device. So, um, so all it does is put the a very small amount of information in the cloud. You download it to this device. You upload you upload it when you finish. So now, back in Power Project, um, Insight Progress Mobile, it still remembers who we are. These are the projects, and you can see which ones are ready to be imported, which ones have been submitted and if i right mouse click on a, an entry i can uh, set its status to be i can delete it i'm going to say oh actually this is i'm going to reset this to be exported so you can re-enter it uh, and it would appear on your phone again or i can force it to be ready to be imported so uh, before i do import it i want to look at the settings because there's a few things here that have an impact on the import one is what do we do with progress periods so we can either just have one progress period and move the line on. In this case, I'm creating a new period every time I import it. So that's going to be what site progress does. Uh, and I can also uh, just let it do it, or I can have a, a preview uh, and approve or reject, but I cannot edit the values uh, in that, as you'll see in a minute. So, um, so we're going to create a new progress period and we're going to have an approval step before it comes into the system. So, so we are at uh, this stage now in our wheel where we're just about to integrate the changes back into Power Project and use Power Project to review them. So we're going to take all of these. In fact, we're going to select all of those in one go. We're going to just confirm that we've got the same date there, and then we're going to click on Import. That's going to bring everything back, including the photographs, so this is Rex and Park. So we didn't do a huge amount here. Those two things were done. Uh, so I'm going to um, uh, accept everything. I'm sure there was an accept all button. Um, And you can see what the previous version uh, percentage was, what the new one is, what actual start and finish have been set, days remain. You can see all that, but you can't um, you can't change it. And then we've got one more to do there. And the project progress has been successfully imported. So. So now it's back in our project where it came from. And of course, the sensible thing would have been to make a baseline before we started. Uh, and then we could make a comparison to where we were before. So now we're back in the project. Look, so here now is the um, progress period that has been created. So we might want to call this uh, week three and four. Uh, we don't like the color, so we could change that. It's going to just assign what's, what it thinks the next color should be. I might want it to be a rather brighter blue. Uh, so we can see how much was done in each portion uh, and when it was done. And in our extra fields out here, look, we've got some um, comments that have come in. So, um, so the work went very well, uh, and it's dated the 29th, which is the day that we made the comments. So the comments come in as notes. If there was a previous note there, it would have been appended to it. So we would keep up, keep a date stamp, the notes, another date stamp, the next notes, etc. And it's also created a hyperlink. So it's not put the photograph in there. It's stored the photograph and it's stored the photograph in a place that you set in options file location. So this is the folder. And I recommend that you set this to a network drive so that people on different computers will still be able to access it. If you leave this as a C drive and I email you this project, you won't be able to see, have a look at those photographs. And if you uh, alt click on that photograph, it loads it 
and, and takes you to it. And if it if there's more than one photograph on that task, it takes you to the folder where you can look at all of the photographs. So that's just to prove that it works in real time. So now it's a question of reviewing it. Maybe you don't agree with that. Maybe uh, now we're having further discussion we, and we see the impact of that. We say we've, we've talked some into doing it. Um, maybe there's another day uh, still needed to do that. Uh, and we want to see the impact of that. And uh, let's see what that means uh, to the program. Uh, and maybe that's acceptable because in that excavation, there was a there was an issue that we were instructed to uh, work around and it's not our fault. And so uh, that is an acceptable extension to the project. So you can see that process uh, of working through where we accept it. We'd then save it at this point, And that would be we would then re-export it and send it back to the cloud and go back around our, our circle. So, so that's the process which you go around and they're the controls that you do to, to control it. So in Power Project itself, everything is in the now in the site progress mobile section. You need a login to get this far and then settings you want to pay some attention to at the very beginning and set up this somewhat as I've done, I would recommend make sure you set a um, path that's on a network drive so that uh, photographs can be held in a common place. And in this project, if copied to another, somebody else's computer, would still be able to find that and um, have a look at updating it on the website site. But certainly by far and away, the most popular thing is by doing it on an Android device, uh, Apple iOS device, iPhone, iPad of various types and uh, a Windows phone. But we're, whilst it does work on a Windows phone, we're not going to um, develop the Windows phone side of things because Microsoft uh, have stopped supporting it. So it works now, but we're not adding new features to it. And this version has got a couple of new features in it. So, um, so that ends the show. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. And if you've got any issues, just call our help desk. Uh, quoting your serial number and they can be reached on 01844 261 609. Thank you for your time.